Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite with a new FinSuite Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to set profile avatars for logged in users with MemberStack. Hack 31 to 36 is focused exclusively on hacks with MemberStack. MemberStack is the number one way to create membership-based sites for your Webflow build. In this hack, we're going to let a logged in user select their profile avatar, save it in metadata, and then show it every time they log into the site. This is going to add a nice extra level of personalization to your member stack site. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example. We're going to create a member stack account and then customize ourselves visually through an avatar. On your live site, these will probably be on two different pages. They should be on two different pages. You're going to have a pop-up modal or a page to sign up. And then maybe on the success page or the account page, you'll ask the user to set their avatar. We're gonna store this avatar information inside metadata. So when they return, sign out, reload the page in a different browser, we are going to show them the avatar that they have selected. All right, first I'm going to create an account. You'll see that not logged in, this does nothing. We're, we have no update. Uh, and also that should not say our liked items. This is the avatar. Uh, and now let's go and sign up. That is too short, let's sign up. And we're going to load a preset avatar. You'll see that it's going to be one we pulled from Lottie Flow. And ideally, this is what your avatar should look like, a nice circle or something really nice, not these logos that we pulled from the assets panel of the Hacks project. But it's a perfect example. We're using images here. These are not background photos. So you will structure the image in the way that you want it to be displayed on the page. All right, so as I select this, it's going to change my avatar and it's changing here on the page in real time. More importantly, it's saving it in metadata. So when I go to access it again, I go reload the page, we're going to have this information here. If I sign out and sign back in, it's going to show the same graphic here for my avatar. We're in designer and we have some important classes to put on these elements. We have a class for the image. We have a class for the parent wrapper holding the image. And I will make this very clear. This must be an image. This cannot be a div block with a background on it. Take note, image, not background. Let's get into the classes. First, we have the hack 35 like item class. Hack 35 like item is what is the click target here. So if you have a smaller avatar or you need some type of border, you want it to be a click target. There we go. We have this as the click target. Inside, we have the hack 35 avatar. And what happens is when you click the like item, it's going to search for the image with the class hack 35 avatar inside of it and it's going to grab that SRC, it's going to set it in metadata, and then it's going to display it here. And you can see we have the same hack 35 like item, and inside the image has a different class, and that class is hack 35 set avatar. So here we have hack 35 avatar, hack 35 set avatar. So when we click this, it takes the source, it's going to then put the source inside the set avatar. All right, that's it for classes. We just need those and now we can get into JavaScript and put all the information into these images. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our member stack script and the script that is doing all the avatar work. Remember, you must use your member stack script here, not just a copy paste from this project, very important. Now let's get to the script that's doing the avatar work. On member stack ready, we are going to run an if statement that checks if the member is logged in. 
If they are logged in, we run another if statement that checks if they have a avatar saved to their account. We're looking into metadata, we're checking if they have this avatar that we've set, and if they do, we're going to set their avatar to the correct place. We are going to target the Hack35 set avatar class. We're going to go to the attribute of that class. We're going to go to the source and we are going to place the member avatar metadata as the value of that source. And what this is doing is updating the image that is the Hack35 set avatar. And that was what was visibly changing in the live example. So when the user logs back, logs out, signs in again, goes to a new page, revisits on another browser, we're checking for the metadata and the metadata is being placed as the image. Awesome. Let's say there's no metadata for this avatar. The user has not set an avatar yet. We go to the else statement and the else statement will set a default. We're gonna do the same thing we did above. We're going to target the hack 35 set avatar. We're gonna to go to the attribute, go to the source, and we're going to add this SVG or the PNG or JPG, whatever you want. It's going to be the default. And you saw in the live example when we first logged in, we saw the Lottie Flow astronaut. That is the default we have there. We have the same line of code on that site and it just shows an avatar so it's not blank and it will be a placeholder until the user sets the avatar themselves. All right, let's get now into the setting of the avatar. This part of the code will be on the page they are setting their avatar on, whether it's the account page or the success page, wherever they're selecting it is where we need to place this. If it's a different page than this, which could be in let's say site settings, we do have to make sure we are running member stack on ready. So make sure you are running it on ready if you're breaking up these two scripts, these two parts of the scripts to different pages. All right, now let's get into setting the avatar to metadata so we can access it anywhere on the site. All right, first we are going to target the Hack35 like item. That is the parent wrapper, the click target for the avatar, the image inside that is holding the avatar graphic. And on click of that like item, we're going to run a function. And the function is going to store the image attribute inside of it to a variable. Let's look at how this works. We are targeting this, which is referring to the hack 35 like item, the global element of this variable. And when we target this, we're going to find the hack 35 avatar that's looking inside within this like item for a class called hack 35 avatar. And we're going to get the attribute SRC. That is grabbing the image and we are going to get the value of the image inside this like item. We're gonna store that as a variable called SRC. So we are grabbing a link just like this. This would be an SRC or the value of an F SRC. And we are going to be storing that in a variable. Cool. Now we are going to set the profile displays avatar to a new SRC. We're going to target the hack 35 set avatar. That's where it needs to be. That's where we need to place this graphic and we're going to target the attribute, the source, and we're going to update the value of the source with this SRC, which we just set here. And you can see we have the same type of structure up here as we do down here. Great, so now we've updated this avatar in live, in, in real time. I think it's important when somebody clicks on an avatar to update that it updates live in front of them. That's what this is doing. It is actually going to update 
All right, I chose the dog. Now I can see my avatar change to dog. I chose the iguana. Now it's gonna update and show me that I have the iguana. The very important part of this is setting this to the metadata. So this line right here is going to update the member's profile avatar metadata. Member, update profile, avatar, SRC, which we set here. And that is how we are able to access it anywhere on the site. And you can see we're taking member avatar here, member avatar here, and we're setting it when the user is clicking. Okay, cool, very nice. This last part is very specific to just this hack setup. It redirects the user after they sign up back to the same page. You can delete this when you are setting up the avatar. Nice, okay, great personal touch to any member stack site. Have fun with this one, make cool avatars, make people really interact with your brand. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.